<sighs> so I got to re-upload this video because YouTube and Facebook took it down. Uh, because I said the words that cannot be spoken. Um, so the virus that we cannot speak of, um, I knew this from the very beginning that, you know, it was it was nothing serious. I just didn't realize that, you know, politicians and the rest of uh, I would say the superpowers would use this as a political weapon. That's basically what this entire virus is about. It's a political weapon in order to let help people complete their agendas, uh, which is why you're seeing things open up now, uh, because, you know, the people who needed to get away, the people who needed to collect their money and, and get out of sight are are pretty much, you know, in the clear. You're going to hear a lot of, uh, of, of news about different people. Um, you know, a lot of we hearing about the Jeffrey Epstein thing a lot now uh, and the people who were, uh, you know, involved in it and taking trips to this island to, you know, have like sexual relations with underage women, uh, underage girls. So you're going to hear a lot about this. Uh, uh, a lot of stuff is being hidden right now. A lot of people are putting money away. Uh, rich people who are going to inevitably go to jail or get in trouble for what they're doing. They have, you know, hidden their money. And a lot of them, a lot of people actually just in hiding, period. Like, they're just like, <laughs> they're like, we need to get out of here before, you know, the, the shit hits the fan. So it's it's been used as a political weapon. And a lot of people, when I'm finding out, um, I, no, I kind of already knew this too because of people's reaction to it. Uh, this guy who was, I do Uber and Lyft, so this guy who was in my car was like, um, yeah, he walked out his house without a mask and a woman from like 20, 30 feet away like started yelling at him because he didn't have on a mask. And <laughs> I just... <laughs> He said after that, I knew I had to like get up out of here. So he's in like one of the Caribbean islands right now that don't deal, that don't, um, you know, who, who isn't corrupt and has the most freedom at this point in time. And, uh, you know, it, it took a lot of people who don't know. And, you know, I've been trying to watch them. I've been watching the news less and less and less because it's anxiety driven and it's kind of frustrating to, to see how stupid uh people are and i understand a scared like the media use scare tactics and fear tactics to you know get clicks and to get people to watch it and you know to get people involved in what they have to say but this virus is not anything new this virus that cannot be spoken of has been around forever OK, and I'm finding out a lot of people really think that this is a new thing like this just like popped up out of nowhere just in September. I mean, just in uh in, in January or December of last year, or late December, or January of last year it has been around forever. And what really surprised me is that um, after all this time at home, people didn't do research and figure out exactly what this virus that cannot be spoken of uh is all about the symptoms uh you know the death rate the infectious rate uh it's really surprising and it really gave me a lot of insight into how dumb people are uh people get offended by the word dumb and i'm gonna say dumb and ignorant and it really surprises me at how many people are dumb and ignorant. Uh, it doesn't surprise me that people are dumb and ignorant, that people would, you know, take a lot of this stuff to heart. And, uh, 